Okay, so I just did a live arena video. I kind of got it short to get the classic arena bush. Now there's actually plenty of time. Often, or I can't even remember last time that I have pushed this long. Lately, usually my classic arena pushes are like 20 minutes. And after that, I kind of feel like I wish I could have started a bit earlier. But even though I feel that way every time, I know that if we push early, we're just gonna get hit more in defense and it's gonna be slaughtered because I don't have very scary or meta champions for defense. But we're gonna go for it anyway today and see what happens. Um, let me quickly change my Taras, not Taras. I don't have no Taras, I wish I had. Th then my defense would be way better, but... We're gonna change the Narsus build, not that one. Wait, who? Okay, that one. I'm gonna make him... Harder hitting, but slower, that's the... Plan. If I can, I might not actually remember this build, I might have to... Check it from Hell Hades website, that is gonna cost me some time. Yeah, I know I want to get those boots, but what else? What, was it also different? It might have been different gloves as well. Was it this one? So the main deal, I'm gonna get more damage, but the other build is gonna have more stats overall to be honest, the one that he's in right now, but is it this build? Yeah, it's this build. I want to make him slower on purpose, even though, I mean, we are gaining some damage, but overall we're actually losing a little bit stats and gaining them, but I want him to be a bit slower in offense and not always hit them on reaction and against some of the Past teams with Sifi. Even when they are in a stone skin, they will often take two turns before me, so I I prefer to go with this one in classic offense. The issue is that I have some really crazy pieces, but I can't make a set with all of them together. So we do have gloves without HP subset, which is kind of a bummer. I do have better gloves, but I can't make it fit this build, but I'm sure it eventually will happen though. By that time, Merciless and Rathalos and other sets might be a bigger deal. Okay, so we have 35 minutes left. We're almost at the Platinum border as well. Last couple times when I pushed, I was like 100 points away or 300 points away when I logged in. I had one man defense up and so on. But now we're starting off with the border, and if we take a look, the top 20 is only like um, not even 200 points higher, so let's assume that we get 1 minute fights in offense. We're gonna still have 50 minutes left of reset when we get top 20. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get it, even peek at it, to be honest, but... We are going to get hit a lot in my defense, let's put it that way. But, ah, I can't get the tokens. Ever since we got the White King, I have been kind of feeling that maybe I could get top 20 again. My offense is definitely better than it has been ever since the Taras meta started. But the issue is that my defense is really, really bad right now. It used to be the other way around, that my defense was often carrying me and my offense was kind of slow but steady. But now our offense is very fast. Sometimes we can get losses, but our defense is just bad and isn't scaring anybody away. And, of course, I still have to... Avoid speed teams, which have become way more popular in classic arena defense. Something that during the 
old Taras, Sifi, UDK, Marriage Kameta, you would hardly ever see any speed teams, but because those teams, those uh, Taras teams, the old school Taras teams, they can be farmed with Narses, so we are seeing a lot of speed teams and I actually can't deal with them. Not with my 300, 330 speed Arbiter. But yeah, we're gonna run this offense all reset. Maybe I will use Rotos at some point if I find some... Oh, he has everybody in stone skin. So if we find some juicy teams at higher up that maybe... Um, have defenses without UDK, we might use Rotos against some of them, but... At least during the climb, we're just gonna spam the Armand's team. This is so much better than anything else that I have that it's a no-brainer and we're just gonna mindlessly auto all of the teams with the same one. I mean, it's generally the same even if you use other teams like maybe Taras or Georgie Offense. Even stuff like bombs, I mean, I guess you need to pay a little bit more attention, but it's not like classic arena offense is rocket science. Generally, it's much better if you can have the team to be full auto anyway, because it's going to be faster. So if you have to make a lot of manual decisions during the offense battles, it's just going to hurt the team. And then if you actually get wins. Damn, I, I wish I had Galatir. <laughs> I feel like if I just got Galatir, then my defense would... Oh, almost hit Matt there. Defense would go from garbage to like decent defense. Yeah, so, so many scary teams, I can't hit like anything. Everything has Armand's Lockout or Galatir. And the one team that I can hit is a hello mad player. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not gonna pick the hard fights. I'm sure we can find some easy fights as well. And it's gonna open up a little bit at the higher levels, but yeah, we can definitely see that the speed meta is at full force a little bit different than it used to be. I don't really want to hit this Harima team either. I could beat it, but it will be not very fast. Okay, should we just try our chances against this guy? I guess he can kill a champion's true stone skin. Okay, that wasn't a lot of damage. I thought Sulfurion was gonna do, do... Oh, fuck. Was gonna do more. I guess he did kill my... Never mind. <laughs> I guess we're still gonna lose it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I mean, Armand did die and... Ankara did almost die and she... She was in stone skin, so he did break it. But yeah. But I also got... Locked out, locked out by the Lazarus, and that, that was really so. Okay, we're good. Would have been kind of funny if I lost to that one, but it's at the start, this is the best time to get losses, and it really doesn't matter at, at all. The faster I climb, the more I'm just gonna hit in my. gonna get hit in my defense, so. It's not really like. Um, it's not in the bank even if I get the win now. Okay, finally we broke in the plot. Should I just hit these seven points teams? Yeah, might as well hit them. I'm sure we're gonna find some non-speed teams in a second when I break through the low platinum, but okay, let's just settle with this one. I generally recommend to Avoid hitting teams that give you less than 10 points and 
only going for 10 plus wins, but if you don't have any choice, then you have to do what you have to do. But let's say that you do like 10 fights and you get 7 points per win, uh, or you get do 10 fights and you get 10 to 12 points per win, it's going to be a massive difference. So you definitely want to consider that. Generally, if you get to the very high levels of uh, platinum rankings, unless you're in like top 10, you're gonna have everybody at 10 points, and maybe you have like one or two guys at 11 or 12 points, but often you're not gonna find anybody below 10 once you're in like mid, mid platinum. But right now, maybe like half of our baits was people that give less than 10 points. And we're hitting them anyway, because I can't find anybody else to hit. Okay, can we find some higher up teams now? No, everybody has lockout or armaments. I'm not confident that I'm faster than these people, and I don't really want to gamble. Okay, let's do one fight. Warlord, is he really gonna be in his fastest build? Probably, but le let's find out. I mean, my Armand is kind of fast. I think he's 363. Yeah, it, it was fast enough for his Warlord, but um, I'm not gonna do a lot of these fights. It's very inconsistent. But I, I guess it did work against this guy. And... Definitely for some other people, they are gonna do this type of offense a lot. Wait, okay, good. I was gonna say that this Minars is gonna get the turn before the lockout, but we're good. But yeah, so some people, for some people, these kind of speed defenses are super, super fast fights. I mean, if you if you are faster, then you rather hit these types of teams than very tanky teams. So it's kind of. Uh, depends but generally for those people they already have very good accounts anyway but it, it's a matter of perspective you you might be wondering that if, if nobody hits those speed teams then why aren't they doing even better but definitely some people are eating them Okay, this is the type of teams that I'm looking for. The old school Ukraine duo defense, that used to be the best defense just a little bit ago before the Narsus release. Damn, he has like everybody in a stone skin. But actually, that I did mention about that a lot in my defense video I did on Sunday, make sure to watch it if you didn't see it, but because of Narses people stopped using bolster and you, you see a lot of stone skin, like teams in full stone skin or double or triple stone skin is pretty much the norm and you're practically not gonna see any bolster. Okay, so our Lutia Asi was kind of wasted there. Maritska is gonna have it up now. We're definitely gonna win it, but it's gonna make the fight a bit slower since we didn't have enough damage to one-shot the Sifi earlier. Oh, I don't know if I should have done the revive there. That might have been a mistake. Now we don't have it for Narsus if he dies, but maybe we're good. Damn, if I did a little bit more damage there, then I would have gotten the A2 and it would have been over. Okay, good. Kind of bad start, but we're climbing slowly and steadily, avoiding the 
risky fights. Wait, I did that many fights already. Okay. Yeah, Armand's offense sword is fast. I'm not really used to this. I used to run Rotos offense for a long time, or basically my main offense teams over time have been Tranda back in the day. What did I do before Tranda? I think actually before Tranda I did Rotos, and then after Tranda I did Rotos again, and then I did different variations of Rotos with Ga Gala or Basileus and some other champions. And of course, the Initve offense. Th this is for sure the best offense I had ever. I mean, the Ro Rotos Gala offense was good at the time, but... Um, well, let's say that the fights I have now are faster. No, not a lot faster, but maybe slightly faster on average. But then I... well... Maybe even not. We, with the Gala Rotos offense team, sometimes I had like 20 second fights and sometimes I had one and a half minute fights. I think probably most fights were like a 50 seconds, so maybe it was even faster. But in that meta, my defense was very good. It wasn't just um, okay, but it was better than average. It, it was actually really good. Like my, my defense was like literally like... Um, it belonged in the top 20. I wasn't carried my carried by my offense. But nowadays it's it's the opposite. My defense sucks. Everybody wants to hit me and um I don't want to hit anybody. <laughs> yeah, I, I I really don't want to take these Harma fights because they're gonna be slow and they might even be risky because of that. And yeah, no, now we're only seeing 10 points teams like I was mentioning before. Man, it really is speed meta. There's hardly any teams without without some kind of speed threat. Should I just put Armands in defense? But my, my Armands is so slow that I'm not confident that it's faster than any lockout uh, champion. This is a weird team, like... Um, I don't recall exactly, but this is... Maybe it's like Boomer's old account, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the best accounts in the game, or used to be at one time. This is somebody else's old account, I can't remember who's. Maybe it was Boomer's, but... I guess he hasn't gotten the new meta champions, because... This is a crazy good account. Okay, we're good. I mean, it's no secret, everybody knows about it, that the top accounts in Raid have been sold and resold like a trillion times each. I mentioned it in the past on some videos, I think I made some dedicated videos about it back in the day. But if we look at, let's say, top 20 on any given reset, probably... Probably on average, it isn't even that all of the accounts have been sold. Maybe there's like one or two accounts that have never been sold, but pretty much all of them have been sold. But not only have they been sold, but many of the accounts have been sold like five plus times, and they have had many owners, and I almost it clanmate again. Those um, few guard accounts keep getting resold, and passed around by whales and they just keep 
becoming even stronger and stronger. And they have insane amount of spending because many people have wealth on the same accounts. It's a weird thing, I mean... I'm not gonna blame anybody for selling their account when they quit, but... It definitely does have some negative consequences for PvP. I'm not super keen about it, but... There's nothing I can do about it, and just snitching on everybody would be kind of green, so it's not like... I have ever done that or tried to get anybody banned, but I mean, I'm not gonna... Pretend I'm not... I don't know what accounts are, like, sold also, so... It's a weird thing. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I mean, I would definitely do way better if uh, those accounts were not able to do that, but it really wouldn't make that big difference because, um, like I said, we have moved... I don't know. I don't think I can kill the Duchess. Oh, never mind. He has the UDK anyway. We have kind of moved to new meta in the game, finally, after a while, and even that Mike account, who I'm pretty sure was like Boomer's old account or something like that, that account is definitely one of the best ones in the game, as far as gear goes and champions from the old metas, but even that account clearly isn't very, very good, and some random average casual accounts, if they got like Galatir and Grixia for instance, suddenly they are much better than those old guide accounts, so even if those old outdated guide accounts didn't exist or got banned or whatever, I still couldn't beat many of the casual players with new good primals, so it really wouldn't help me anyway. It definitely would have helped me in the past metas, but not right now. I mean, what I would rather want than to get those uh, accounts banned, that, I mean, they have broken the rules, to, to be clear, but just re rebalances on PvP. That's, that's all I want to see. I mean, uh, I want to see myself getting lucky and get good champions, don't get me wrong, but rebalances would go a long way. Even, even if we don't get uh, a new Taras out of all old useless champions, but stuff like they did with Queen Eva, I'm very happy if we can get more of those. Okay, I, let me see my defense look. Am I getting hit? Eh, not, not that much. I'm starting to get hit, but only three hits so far, and... 15 minutes left, we're at top 117. Yeah. I can't hit any of these teams, it's kind of... Um, he is weird. Yeah, even this level 94 account, I, I can't hit him. I hope I didn't hit any mad people on accident. I was kind of trying my best to avoid it, but there are so few people I can hit, and it seems to be that most of those people that I can hit are other mad players. I... I I got the same guy like five times and every time I want to attack him and I'm doing my best to resist it but we will see if I will make a mistake. I mean, I know some, I mean, I'm not gonna rehash it too much on Classic Arena videos. I know some people are not happy about the alliances. I can understand, or not, not alliances. I mean, they are very happy with alliances, but they are not with, nor they're not happy with mad, like doing well. I'm all for uh, blind arena, 
I wish we would get it. I have asked it for many times in the CC chat. I think they should make it so that you can see people's... You can only see the champions and nothing else. Not even the blessings or player power or clan tag. I think that would add more strategy because you don't automatically know their bills and you might uh, make mistakes and so on. It would add a little bit more caution and strategy to it. But not sure if that's gonna happen and I'm not gonna I'm not, I don't even feel like slightly bad about being in a clan and not hitting clan mates. I know some people very much dislike the mad clan. They kind of uh, some people just hate them because they are the number one clan and some people hate them because they are in one of the rival clans or whatever, which is totally understandable but we have 60 players they don't all push platinum all of the other top clans have more clans than two they generally have like three or more and they have made alliances in the past they right now have multiple alliances against us so i mean i, I have mentioned this many times but the point that uh, we have 60 players and we ruined the pvp because of that the other cl top clans have like hundreds or thousands if we talk about the the new Omega cluster. And like I said, there has been multiple alliances in the past. So that isn't the reason. Like that that isn't the issue. And not attacking clan mates, if you have the option to not do it, is common sense. Nobody is really attacking clan mates. If you were attacking clan mates, even if your clan doesn't have any rules and Maybe there's only two people pushing plat. Chances are that it would cause some friction and you would get complaints. So the idea that we should hit clan mates when there's an option to not do is, is a bit silly. But I would prefer if we had blind arena. I agree that it would be better that way. So. But as long as we have this system, I'm definitely not going to hit my clan mates and I'm not going to feel bad about it. Though, actually, now that I'm... Oh, I think we lost this one. God damn it. I guess his triple reviver was too tanky for us. Oh, he doesn't have the AoE yet. Though, sometimes our clan takes it a bit too far. They have this like new weird rules because... People are doing very long pushes in the current meta. We had this weird incident, like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, there's like... Uh, I mean, almost everybody in the clan I like and is very friendly, but there's a couple very toxic people that have been... have been hating me for years. It is what it is, it happens in games and other clans as well. But uh, they make... They, they, they try to in instigate drama with me about everything. It's only a couple of people, but... They personally dislike me, they instigate drama about everything. It was maybe like one month or two months ago. It wasn't during Classic Arena reset. I hit somebody 20 hours before Classic Arena. I wasn't even... 20 hours before the reset. I wasn't even in Platinum. I hit somebody in Gold while I was climbing up to prepare for, <laughs> for the Classic Arena reset in 20 hours. I wasn't even looking at the teams that people use or like uh, the names i was just autoing teams without even looking at their team or name and i hit one guy 20 hour before reset and some people made a massive deal about it in the clan discord that kind of thing is stupid like is super cringe and stupid and and yeah i'm i'm not with that but of course of course you're not gonna hit clan mates during reset i mean but 20 hours before reset in gold come on Anyway, I mean, it is what you get, especially when you do with content, that there's gonna be some people that hate you for no reason, and then there's gonna be some people that are, like, too overly positive. But those people, they just dislike me, it's not even because of the, <laughs> because of the content, because they have been giving me death threats for, like, three years, so, or... 
I'm talking about one person, to be clear, but anyway. It's not like anybody else have, has given me death threats except one guy, but... He and his couple friends keep, uh, keep creating drama, which I... I'm kind of fed up, I usually avoid it, I don't usually respond to it, but... Getting a bit, uh... Getting a bit over it, I can't really be bothered with it. I'm I'm gonna start soon making replies to them as well, or... Anyway. Let's focus on more positive stuff. I'm getting hit a lot in defense now, I can definitely notice. Wait, what rank are we? Yeah, we're like in top 100, probably probably we're gonna stuck here, be stuck here, we might even drop a little bit if... Um, should I even fight this? This is gonna be a very risky fight. Let's see what happens, but these last 8 minutes are gonna matter. If we do really well here, then it might um, affect the result a lot, but in the same token, if we do really bad here, we might finish top 300 or whatever. Oh yeah, I don't want to put auto on because I don't... Uh, actually, not okay. I was gonna say I don't want to revive the Lydia, but... I don't mind reviving Narsus. But you might know this from my last reset video. I changed the AI settings a little bit. I don't have Narsus doing it, doing the polymorph any well, anymore. I just completely turned it off and if I do want to use the polymorph, I'm just gonna do it manually. But okay, this last, last couple of minutes count, let's Try to be super fast and get a couple wins. I probably would be faster if I wasn't talking, but everybody has do I want to I don't want to take that fight again. Everybody is telling me that you should do the classic arena pushes live and not um like with the web camera and talking and not just music and so on, so I guess we're gonna stick to that. It's not like it's not like I'm gonna risk my trophy because I'm a couple of seconds slower. Chances are that I'm gonna finish top top hundred or something like that anyway. We're not even contending for a top twenty. Top fifty may be doable, but that's pretty much my limit. Maybe top twenty in my best possible scenario, but it's very, very uh, unlikely. Come on, can I find any team that I can attack? It's like one team out of 40 I can maybe attack. Yeah, speed meta isn't good for me. And people have been wondering why I'm such a big defender of Polymorph and... Oh, we have two teams here. And why I think it is good for the game. I mean, I think there should be countermeasures. I think cheap debuffs should be cleansable. I think that would be the best thing to do about it. But I think Polymorph is needed. I have played in the past speed metas. This isn't the first time we have speed meta. If... um. Everybody is using a lockout and speed team, and the only way to win is to go first. It's not super fun, it's not very diverse, that there's not a lot nuance or strategy, so even though facing polymorph might be annoying. But facing only speed teams is super annoying as well, and I like polymorph. I know it's uh, not the popular opinion, but on that hill, I'm gonna die because uh, I feel like I know I'm right even though everybody thinks they're right in their own perspectives, but to be honest, even though I can attack so few teams right now, 
if we go back like three years, three or four years, I could have attack even less teams that I could see. So it's not something that I haven't seen before. Okay, I hope we can do fast fights now. We could maybe get two more fights if we are fast, but probably we can only get one more fight. Well, maybe if we don't get a lot of losses in defense, it doesn't matter, and even if we just get one more fight. But there's four minutes left. Technically, we could maybe squeeze in two fights. Okay, what? Okay, this one went really fast. Okay, good. Yeah, we definitely will get... We, we, we could even possibly get two more fights after this, but we're definitely gonna get one more fight. <laughs> Assuming I don't lose it, at least. Come on. You can do it, Narciss. Give me, give me victory. Ah, damn it. God damn it. I really wanted to hit that Harlock team. And now we're only seeing Primals. Wait, wait. That, that team looks super empowered. I think this is one of the Pandas accounts, but let's, let's give it a go. Three minutes left. If we can just win this fight and not get another one, that, that would be okay. But let's at least get a win and not lose. And I'll be happy with that. Okay. Taras, G broke double reaction or what happened there? Let's polymorph the Taras. Ah, got feared. I was gonna polymorph him for safety, but uh, I guess this fight is not gonna <laughs> gonna be. Oh, okay, we got the cooldown reset. It's not gonna be as safe as I hope it would be. Okay, I think we're good. No, okay, the Taras is super tanky. Do I want to revive? Yeah, let's let's save the revive for Narasus just in case. Well, I, I probably could have done it, but okay, whatever. Oh, was that the plus for Taras? I don't think it was, but it's super tanky. Uh, okay, next turn we got AoE, then we're good. I'm still gonna hold on to the A3 just in case. Okay. Mm, I think we're good. Okay. 40 seconds. <laughs> Maybe we could pull off another 20 second fight, but probably not. Can't find any. Okay, let's hit this one. 36 seconds. Maybe? Maybe? This looks like a... Wait, did I, did I lose a lot in defense? This team looks kind of... Uh, very bad compared to the other ones. This looks like my defense team, to be honest. So Maybe if we get real... Okay, Rats is resisted. I No way we can do it in time. Come on. Be super fast. You can do it. Come on. This is gonna be like race... Okay. This is gonna be race against time, but I don't think we can... Come on, give, give us cooldown reset. You can do it, Ankara. Do it. Yes, come on. No, okay, it's, I think it's just... <laughs> yeah, we're a couple seconds too late, yeah. Almost, but we didn't make it. Okay, no, no, not even close anymore. It, it's already over, we can maybe do one more fight, but... If we refresh now, then we're not gonna... Not gonna be able to do fights. I don't think this fight counts, but let's do it anyway. This is a weird bug that has been going on for a while, that um, even when the reset ends, you can still see other people in Platinum and you can still do fights, but if you refresh, then you don't see anybody in the battle logs, and I'm pretty sure these, like I mentioned, these fights are not gonna count anyway. But it didn't used to be always like this. I think this only started happening maybe like a year ago. 
Okay, let's see what... Wait, how is the Platinum still up? Should we fight that team? Okay, let's do one more fight. Might as well. I'm pretty sure we attacked this guy before as well. But yeah, that, that's it for today's Classic Arena. It's kind of a weird crime that you're just spamming refresh and fighting the same exact team over and over again and trying to get fast wins, but that's how it works. I think with my current offense, even though I can only hit very few teams, but there were some really good teams like the Pandas one that I can still attack. If I had really good defense, I could totally do well. And yeah, we got 20 points from that win. Normally you don't get that high, but that's because we 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 were only at 3.2k rating and we beat somebody at 4.3k or whatever. That That's what happens when you do a battle after the reset. I think actually the second last fight might have counted, but that one definitely didn't. Okay, let's see what we did. <laughs> let's see what we did. Did we get better than top 100? Okay, 68. I mean... Back in the days, I would be very sad about it. I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't get anything out of this, but it's probably one of my... I mean, it's, a, it's at least a better than average push for me. It's one of the better ones in the last couple of weeks, at least. I mean, it's good. I can't complain. I think if I had a good defense, I could... I could still definitely get top 20. The, the offense, as you saw, it's okay. D did we even lose any fights? I don't think we even lost any fights. Though I was very picky about picking the fights. To be honest, the closest fight that we we were to losing probably was th this one against the um, Sulfurian guy from Shout Out to Gerbo Live. But anyway, so we didn't lose any fights. We had pretty safe and steady fights, so we were basically hitting the same type of team over and over again and avoiding 99% of defense teams in the um, in the Platinum, but that's what you have to do if you want to do as good as you can. I have talked about this many times before. Some people might think that this is super cringe and Platinum Arena is like a bad four month and I understand, I kind of agree and can sympathize, but if you want to play it, then this is how you how you have to do it. <laughs> Assuming that you just you don't have a fast lockout and then you could do something else. I mean there's other stuff you can do, you could do double taras and other things, but generally in this meta you're you're gonna need some fast teams. Okay, this win actually came after reset and it didn't count. If I had to guess, he probably basically lost the fight and he paused it and was just waiting for the reset to end and then he ended the fight. That's something that you should always do if you're gonna lose your last fight anyway. By the way, funny thing, isn't that the same guy? Yeah, I hit him multiple times and I guess he probably hit me multiple times as well. But yeah, mostly losses in defense, not too spectacular, that's not mad, yeah, that's not mad. It's mad ducks, okay, he got me, so... There was times when my defense had like, always 50% win ratio or even better, but not today. To, to be honest, three, three wins or... Two wins is totally fine. I, I will take it. Could have been worse. I'm almost surprised that I didn't get attacked more. Last couple of weeks I was using Angora instead of Wukong. That definitely, going back to Wukong, I think was the right choice. Also, at the end of my videos, I always show the bills and have been doing that since the start. But the thing is that I do have linked to all of my builds in Optimizer. Not old version, but the real-time version. 
inhale Hades optimizer right now and the link to that is in the description of all of my videos and since I'm talking there's no point to show my bills you can see it from the description you can get much better look than me showing specific champions you can see masteries and everything but this is what I ran for offense and I've been doing since Armands probably for the who knows how long this might be my offense team for the next two years but this is the setup that I'm running on it I have disabled the polymorph because oftentimes it take, makes the fights slower I always open with the A1 and then if they have somebody like UDK or Justice and so on in stone skin which they pretty much always do then I'm gonna manually try to polymorph that target with A3 and then I'm just gonna put it back to auto and not do the polymorph on him in live arena it's super good but in classic arena you want to do fast battles and you don't really want to spam the polymorph then on Ankara I kind of have the same thing that she's gonna be faster than Narses when I put my Narses in my slow classic arena build and because of that um, I put her to open with the shield because she goes before him anyway but after, time, after that she's only spamming A1 and revive and hopefully resetting the Narsa school downs with the A1. Now let's say that the fight is kind of dicey and the enemy nuker is alive and maybe my Lydia died. I'm gonna manual on Lydia. I don't want to re waste the revive on Armands or Lydia most of the time. Sometimes I do use it. But if I can just revive Narsus with it, he's gonna get his A2 back and that's usually enough to end the fight and on Narthus nothing weird apart from the fact that I made him slower for classic arena and with a little bit more damage and Lydia is just in slow bolster set with high HP but no accuracy or anything else the bolster isn't that big deal it could be shield it could be no set it could be stone skin Stone skin might just be as, as good as Bolster, if not better in some matchups, but I don't think her set really matters in any way. The main reason you want her to be there is the passive, and she will proc it even if she dies, so that isn't an issue. But anyway, that's it for today's Classic Arena. I hope you found it interesting or informational. If you want me to do something different about it, then let me know. But that's it. Have a nice day and see ya.